Well, morning boys, girls, friends, enemies. Today I thought I'd have a laugh. I was on evening or night patrol once and it got to about half one in the morning and I decided to drop my colleague at home and call it quits. Midweek night, usually fairly quiet. Got out and a car come hammering past. And as I was saying goodnight to him, no one come. So we thought, hold on, let's just get the, ra the laser out for five minutes. Next one along, well above the limit, 48 and a 30. As I was writing him a ticket, I noticed in the distance two very drunk girls waddling their way up the road. So I finished writing the ticket, let him go. As these girls approached, you could see they were teenagers and they were quite tipsy. Or embarrassingly, I could see that one of them was one of my spawn. Um, at the time, just slightly underage, school night, should have been in bed. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I was about to read the Riot Act when Edgar and I noticed they both had chips and pizza. Well, now what do you do in a situation like that? Uh, the upshot is, I promised, I made her promise she wouldn't make a noise going into the house. And secondly, I made her promise upon the theory of death, not to let her mother know because she would be apoplectic and in return for chips and pizza I would say nothing. Now you've got to put this in a relation to Jersey, pretty safe island. Um, kids are brought up to respect alcohol. They, uh, they're given it in small quantities like wine with water etc at a very young age. Um, I think they were more high on the spirits of life than anything else. So I'm biting into this massive triple cheese pizza and along comes a 50 mile an hour car in a 30 limit. Fair enough. I'm not going to tolerate that. So hand up, stopped him. It was a her, actually. She ran down her window. God bless. I'm trying to give the official spiel. Good evening, madam. You realise the speed limit along this section of road? And then you show them the device and say, in contravention of, blah, blah. Give them the caution. Right, take it out. Well, trying to get the first few words out with a mouthful of cheese, cheese pizza, where the cheese really, really got stuck everywhere around my teeth and tongue and jaws. And it really wasn't going to play ball. Ah. Summer and her friend, Fred, went on their merry way. Fred, and that wasn't really her name. I don't know if I've said this before. But in one sleepover, there were about 50 kids in the back garden in about 10 tents. And I announced to all of them that 
I wasn't even going to try to remember their names, so henceforth they would all be called Fred. Male and female, they will all be called Fred. So Summer and Fred waddled their way home, quite happy. Disgruntled lady got her ticket. Redhead closed, I want to see where it's closed. I'm a nosy bastard. And it looks like it's going to rain, so I may well have to put the hood up. Yeah, life. So yeah, one of the funnier moments of life. It's not all um, doom and gloom being a policeman. So yes, um, a lady got it. Well, three people that night got tickets, and for some reason, midweek silly speeds. I can only imagine it's because midweek we aren't normally out that late and we're only out that late. Ah, oh, mud and shite. We're only out late purely and simply because we'd attended a function and functions don't finish early. So we weren't really doing that much duty sort of prowl around the parish before we went, have a nice meal, listen to boring speeches, and a very quick prowl around the parish. Um, we liked to prowl around the parish because quite often you find little groups of underage kids with booze. And it was always best to disperse them for their own safety. And occasionally you come across some teenager in a lane, sat on the floor, out of his mind on alcohol, and you'd pick them up and you'd take them back to mum and dad, have words. So it was always beneficial to, to sort of prowl around the parish. Anyway, that was it. I'm just out for a toodle, we're in lockdown. I'm going to go for a walk on the seawall or on the reservoir wall. And then go home again. This lockdown shite is so bloody tedious, isn't it? Enough to drive a grown man mad. But I try my best to stay sane. And if that means coming out in the car for an hour, so be it. I'm not going near anybody and I'm not infecting anybody. So you stay safe, avoid the lurgy, have fun, upset the miserable buggers. How do you do that? Hey, you just smile at them, they don't like that. <laughs> stay sane, stay safe. Bye.